Hello all level students. Welcome to our English lesson. We have a series of lessons focusing on the skills you need to master to face the GCE all level examination. I hope you have watched all of them. Now we are going to help you further with past question paper discussions. Today we are going to discuss paper 1 of the GCE all level 2018 paper. In this video we will discuss part 1 of the paper 1 only. Let's start the discussion. Children, as you already know, there are 8 test items in the English paper 1 and all these test items are compulsory. They are not very difficult and examples are provided wherever possible to make it easier for you to understand the questions. These 8 test items carry 5 marks each and the total mark you can score is 40. In paper 1 there are 3 test items to test your reading skill. 2 each for vocabulary and writing and 1 to test grammar and language functions. They are all arranged from easy to difficult. Children Let's look at test 1 of the 2018 paper now. Here you have to match the places given with their descriptions. As you can see, the first one is done. If you study the way the first one is done, you can understand that you are to write only the correct letter of the answer. Let's read the first description. A place where planes land and take off. The answer is airport. How do we decide the answer? Look at the keywords in the sentence: place, planes, land, and take off. If you know at least one of these keywords, you can guess the answer. It is the answer F. So F is written on the dotted lines in front of the first description. Now pause the video and match the others. Okay in this test you are tested on your ability to use words appropriately and accurately in a context so you have to guess the words with the help of the keywords given in the description for example the word worship is a keyword to understand that it must be the temple for the second one in the third one you have the word animals It's a word you all know that you can associate with the zoo. Fourth one has the keywords sick and medical so that you can guess it is the hospital. In the same way the keywords higher and education help you to understand the answer university for the fifth one. Last one again is very easy. You know books and library are two words that go together. So the answers are D E A B and C. I hope you got them correct. It's not very difficult to score all 5 marks if you attempt the question strategically. Now look at the second test. Here you have to fill in the blanks of the dialogue with the words given in the box. Just like test 1 here also the first one is done. Okay, pause the video and do it. Don't keep any blank empty. Even if you don't know the answer, just make a guess and write one. Let's discuss the answers now. Children In this test you are tested on your ability to use prepositions appropriately. If you had found this difficult, the reason could have been this. You have not read the complete dialogue to understand the context before choosing the relevant preposition to fill in the blanks. Sometimes even though you find the correct answer, you misspell the words given in the list when you copy them in the blanks. So be careful to spell the words correctly when writing answers. Let's read the completed dialogue. 
It's a dialogue between a policeman and Ravindra. Where were you exactly when the accident happened? I was inside the school bus. Did you clearly see what happened? Yes, a motorbike was coming behind our bus. The driver stopped the bus because of heavy traffic. After that, the motorbike tried to overtake us and collided with a van coming from the opposite direction. When did this happen? I think it was around 7 a.m. Thank you for the information. You're welcome. Okay children, I hope you got all the answers correct. Children, this is test 3. As you can see, there's a picture here. Usually the third test in your O-level English paper is a picture based one. You have to study this picture and fill in the blanks with the words given in the box. Here also the first one is done. Pause the video and fill in the blanks now. Children, let's discuss your answers now. In this test item, you are assessed on how well you can complete a text appropriately with given words. So it's based on vocabulary. You must read the whole description and relate the words with the picture and the description both. Here you need to understand what parts of speech is needed to fill in the blanks with the help of the clues given in the description. Example, nouns, words, adjectives, etc. In general, when you study the picture, you can understand that it shows a marketplace where people buy and sell various items. This is said in the first sentence. This picture shows a marketplace. Next sentence is People seem to be busy, blank, various things. So the answer should be buying or selling. Look at the answers you have buying there. Anyway, it is done for you. Look at the next one. Some blank are waiting in a queue before a stall where a blank with a cap is selling goods. Okay, look at the picture now. Who are waiting in a queue? It has to be a plural noun because the determiner sum is before that. In the word box, the only personal plural noun is buyers. So it's some buyers. Now the second blank in the same sentence. You see the article a before the blank. So the answer should be a singular noun. There are three words in the box that look suitable. Salesman, man and lady. Look at the picture. Which word is more appropriate? Yes, it should be salesman. Next sentence is, There is a blank with a walking stick in the middle of the picture. So a singular noun referring to a person is needed here. We have man and lady. Study the picture now. It is not a man. So let's fill the blank with lady. Read the next sentence. A man carrying two bags is blank the place. So here you need an ing verb to fill in the blank. You have only one ing verb left in the box now. It's leaving. Now, before fill in the blank, study the picture once again to see whether it is correct. Yes, you can see it. A man carrying two bags is leaving the place. Next one is, the bags look blank. As you can see, you need an adjective here. Look at the word box. You have the adjective heavy there, which is suitable for this blank. So you can say the bags look heavy. Next one is the area around the counter is blank. Again it should be an adjective. We have two more adjectives left. Busiest and crowded. Study the picture now. 
Which adjective describes the area around the counter? Yes, you are correct. It is crowded. Next it is this sentence. Two blank can also be seen in the picture. You need a plural noun to fill this blank. In the picture you can see two lamp posts. Do you have that compound noun in the answer box? Yes, it's there. So let's fill in the blank with that. Let's read the next sentence. There is a blank between the lamp posts. Okay, which noun suits this blank? Study the picture. You can see it's a tent. So it should be there is a tent between the two lamp posts. Next one is a blank standing near one lamp post seems to be talking to someone. Study the picture. There is a man. In the word box also you have the word man left. So fill in the blank with the word man. The last sentence is this is one of the blank days in the marketplace. You need the superlative form of the adjective to fill in this blank. The word left in the box is busiest and it appears correct here. So let's write this is one of the busiest days in the marketplace. Children, when you attempt a question like this, it's easier if you cut off the words in the box every time you select them to fill a blank. Otherwise, you may use the same answer twice by mistake. Okay, I hope you got the answers correct. Let's see what the fourth test item is now. Here you have two boxes. In box A, you have the contents page of a textbook. There are six units mentioned under contents. In box B, you have some titles. You have to write the relevant page numbers of the units against the titles given in box B. The first one is done. So pause the video and do the activity now. In this test, your ability to read and extract specific information from a given text is tested. We have done several lessons to practice this skill, so I am sure you could do it easily. Ok, let's check your answers. The answer to the first one is already given. What is the first title? It's water pollution. Which unit contains that article? The human waste stream. What are the page numbers? Page 37 to 40. Now the second one. The tools that ancient people used in farming. Now go through the units. Which unit would contain an article with this title? It's easy. Farming and agriculture go together. So the unit is agricultural equipment. What are the page numbers? 31 to 36. Let's see the third one now. How the planet in which we live looked like in the past. The planet we live in refers to the earth. So it's the first unit. A brief history of the earth. What are the page numbers? 26 to 30. Look at the fourth one. Oceans in different parts of the world. What is the matching unit? It's international waters. The page numbers are 56 to 60. The fifth one is low cost housing schemes. What is the unit? The challenge of homeless people. What are the page numbers? 41 to 45. Now the last one. Insects that are harmful for crop growing. Children, the insects that are harmful for crop growing are called pests. So the unit is the war of pests. Check the page numbers. It's 46 to 55. I hope you got all the answers correct. 
okay children with that we have come to the end of today's discussion here we only discussed the first four test items of the 2018 o level first paper i hope you found it to be useful making it easier for you to get a good grade at the o level examination we are planning to discuss some more test items in the upcoming lessons so be with us and watch all our videos please subscribe to our channel if you have not done so yet see you again goodbye